So this is the first Canon DSLR. The ones before this one were just film bodies with Kodak sensors in them. I found this camera for 40 euros and it came with two lenses. The first is this kit lens 28 to 90 millimeter and the second one was 75 to 300. I sold the 75 to 300 for 60 euros. So this camera is now free to me. This camera is actually pretty good. It has the top LCD which I'm a huge fan of. It has this rear dial you can use for exposure compensation. Uh, the top LCD doesn't have a backlight. Handling is quite good on this camera with proper creep. My camera has this little problem where it doesn't always take the picture if I just right away click the shutter button. The shutter button is sticky or something. It doesn't take a picture every time I just tap, tap it. But it will take a picture if I um, hold it down for a little bit. has a continuous mode, it's 3 fps, let's see if I have, if the buffer has cleared, let's see, this is 3 fps, uh, that, okay, May, that's maybe for like 4 frames, I tried to fix the sticky center button with some contact cleaner but it didn't have any effect, power button is located here, unlike most of the other cameras, it has this small LCD on the back and mine has some uh, yellowing so the colors aren't accurate anymore and obviously the view angles are just just bad. You know it's 23 year old camera so I'm not expecting much. One thing they added on the lighter models is the ISO button. On top there is no ISO button. In order to change the ISO you have to go into the menu and find the ISO speed setting which you can change between 100 and 1600 I like the menu system on this camera more than on the 1DS because you can just it's simple one page it's, it's way easier to navigate a menu system like this so this camera uses the EF mount not the EFS mount which came later for these APS-C sized sensors so this lens covers the full frame sensor so I can put it on my 1DS if I want to being a 28mm on the wide end you can't really do any wide angle stuff with this lens I feel like the perfect lens for this camera is the EF 40mm pancake it's about 60mm equivalent Three FPS is kind of impressive for so such an old camera. The build quality is definitely better than the low-end uh, bodies from Canon, like the 2000D, 4000D, 1300D, those cameras. This camera uses CF cards, just like most of the cameras from the early 2000s. Even on that small 2GB card you still get about 500 pictures because the file sizes are so small. Since this, this camera has only 3.2 megapixels, it's about the same as a 1440p uh, display. The RAW files have this interesting vintage sharpening effect. The files look uh, sharp even without any sharpening in Lightroom. Uh, on this camera there is no RAW plus JPEG options, so I've been shooting RAW only. There's no color profiles on this camera, so you'll be stuck with the one that Canon has made for this camera. One annoying thing about this camera is there is this uh, small battery on the bottom and if you don't replace it um, you will lose all your settings whenever you remove the battery. The D30 uses these PP511 batteries, the same ones that come with the 5D Classic, so you can still find these from everywhere. The D30 comes with this dual charger 
for the batteries, which is nice. It also has this DC jack, so you can use the dummy battery um, with this charger. And my, my camera came with that dummy battery, so I can do that. And it'll probably work with the 5D too. I will put some sample pictures to the end of this video and that was my D30 video. Um, if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and like the video and all that stuff. Thank you.